to the Senior Summit. We're leaving town. Baby. Hi, I'm Bonnie Francis, and we're here to interview Sherry Brown, who's from Intergrace Bailey Chase, and they're going to be a vendor out at the Senior Summit, which is going to happen May 18th from 9 to 2 out at the 4-H Fairgrounds. And there's a lot of vendors that will be out there, and we wanted to find out what they're going to offer at their table and what Intergrace Bailey Chase has for information for people. So tell us what's going to be at your booth that day. Um, so we'll have a lot of information regarding Bailey Chase. Um, of course, we'll always have some giveaways um, but we'll also have opportunities where you can sign up for upcoming educational events for caregivers. Um, so we'll have a lot of information about the community there. Um, what type of educational events do you have? So at Bailey Chase, um, Bailey Chase is a full service continuing care retirement community mm -hmm. um, local, uh, located on the mid shore. Um, and we have independent living, assisted living, memory care, um, and skilled nursing care. So um, with that being said, we do provide educational events for caregivers. Um, so right now, this spring, we have our upcoming um, caregiver event um, that's focused on memory care. Um, so we've been hosting them. Um, our first series started in March, and we have another one in April and May. Now, does that, you, so it's one session each month? Correct. And mm -hmm. someone that wants information on it could pick up a flyer at the absolutely, booth? Absolutely, absolutely. So they would know what, what's going mm -hmm. on? Absolutely. Um, if people don't get out to the summit, how do they contact you? Um, so they can reach us by our main number, which is 410-822-8888, or um, visit our website at www.integrace.org. Um, different facilities. Tell us about each one and, and what you provide there. Sure. So Bailey Chase has been serving the community for about 35 years. Mm -hmm. um, so our independent living, we have... Um, Apartments, cottages, and villas, um, they go anywhere from 300 square feet to 3,000 square feet. Um, we also have our assisted living, uh, which is uh, something that someone may need assistance with their daily living activi or activities. Um, and then we also have our memory care. Um, those, we actually specialize in our neurocognitive care. Um, we have an outpatient memory assessment clinic. Um, with um, a neurologist, nurse practitioner. Um, and then we also have our skilled nursing care center, which um, features our short-term rehab and then also our long-term nursing care center. So when they are in the first, like, cottages mm -hmm. or whatever, those are like a home. That's a home, And have a Correct. full kitchen to it. So exactly. people cook their own meals and they can come and go as they please. With, can they... You know, have a car there with them? Oh, or? absolutely. So we encourage um, an acti active, healthy lifestyle. Um, so, you know, moving into Bailey Chase, into our independent living, promotes that sense of security that if and when something should happen um, in the future, you have that higher level of care there for you when you should need it. Okay. Um, so, um, you know, in our independent living, we offer an active lifestyle that we have lots of different events and activities that you can participate in, whether it be um, participating in any of our fitness classes, yoga or jazzercise, um, or going out on an outing to um, the Cape May Ferry. So there's lots of things to do. Um, and then there's also just, um, you know, card games and just being involved in the community atmosphere. So if um, someone has a question, the easiest or what would be the best way to call or to go on the website? I mean, can they get enough information on the web to find out if it would meet their needs? Mm -hmm. And what about um, um, finances or things like that? I mean, do they right. have to have a certain medical, you know, waiver or, you know, have... How does that all work? So with a continuing care retirement community, um, when you move into independent living, you pay an entrance fee. Okay. It's based off the home size. Um, so um, we have anywhere from a small studio apartment to a large 3,000 square foot single family home. Um, so depending on what size home you would move into is the entrance fee that you would pay. Okay. Um, and that secures your future to our community. Um, so we're really committing to taking care of you through the end of life. 
Um, so you're providing that sense of security for yourself and, and your family. Well, um, and, and you get to know the person. Exactly. And, and you can see what's happened physically if you see a change in it. Correct, correct. And that's really the benefit of a CCRC. Um, so we do have, you know, lots of services in place. Um, we even have our Integrace Home Care Service Program that we provide um, in-home care for the individuals that are living in our independent living community as well. Um, so sometimes, you know, folks may only need a few minor services to keep them independent as long as possible, and we want to promote that before moving them on to a higher level of care. All right. I understand. Um, so if they um, need to move to a different, who makes that assessment? Does family contact, I mean, like, let's say they're in the cottage mm -hmm. and they see their family member struggling. The family member sometimes doesn't want to admit mm -hmm. that. So do you have someone that checks in on them or is it family member or is it a committee that makes that decision as far as their plan mm -hmm. and what they may need? Mm -hmm. So we have a team that meets weekly. Um, okay. And if we notice someone that may be struggling or have a sudden decline, um, we do discuss that. Um, we don't necessarily make them move to a higher level of care. We definitely make recommendations to put in place because at, at the end of the day, we want everyone to be safe. Yes. Um, so that's very important to us um, and to, for the well-being of the, the individual that we're taking care of. Um, so, you know, really it's, um, it's, uh, it's a group that comes together that kind of makes that decision. Um, we also have a great social work team that can help the process um, with, you know, educating the families, um, you know, discussing options with the residents and things like that. All right. Anything else people need to know? Anything that you have coming up that, um, you know, so, um, again, our caregiver series on May 23rd at 9 a.m. So, you know, if they would like to participate in those, they can certainly give us a call and register for those events. Um, and we also have an upcoming um, cottage exclusive open house on uh, May 9th oh, um, from okay. 1 to 3 p.m. And it's an open house. You can just come in and see some of our cottages that we have available um, and kind of get a, just a brief introduction of the community. Well, we thank you for being one of the sponsors for the summit. <laughs> thank and you for inviting hopefully me. Hopefully people will come out and stop by your table and get some information. Wonderful. Thank you. Good to see you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Friday, May 18th, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. At, at the Queen Anne's County 4-H Park. Woo!